Hi Taurus, how are you guys? I hope that you're all doing well. Just know that I send you much love and light and I thank you for being here with me. My name is Lynn and this is Passion and Heart Tarot. If this is your first time to my channel, thank you so much. If you would subscribe, I would really appreciate that you guys. Please give this video a thumbs up comment and share. So I'm here to do your love reading Taurus for the month of March. So I want to take a look and see how is your love life looking now. And then we're going to ask Spirit to show us what is coming in for the month ahead. All right. But before I do, as always, I just want to take a moment to invite the white light of the Holy Spirit into the reading. Okay, Taurus, let's see how does your love life look now. Let's see what spirit shows us. What's going on with you guys? So Scorpio's energy is here. So you guys could have Scorpio in your chart or be dealing with uh, a Scorpio. I, I know that someone feels like things are moving very slowly. And there's this energy of someone really being stuck on the other one, hoping that they're going to be able to like open up to this person to talk to them. There's someone here that's, and I say hoping because I see this energy of being very stuck and like wishing to get out of this. I know someone feels... Like it's not stable. They feel like it's moving and they don't know which direction it's moving in. But the overall energy that's happening here is, I can tell you that this person is serious. I know that someone's very eager, very eager to get things like on a path where they know like exactly what it is. Because there's a lot of gray area that someone feels that I can see. But this person's intentions, although they're moving slower than someone would like, this person's intentions are to bring stability. And they feel like, let's just let this happen organically because I want to make sure that I'm bringing to the table what you really deserve. This is someone who honors relationships. They, they, they move slow, but it doesn't mean that they're playing games because they're not. This energy is very steady. I mean, it's it's heavy. Heavy as in solid and stable. So I know someone's hoping like for this sweeping energy to come in and like change everything and and hear this person say to them everything that they want them to. I know that's what they wish for. So they're like in a place where they're feeling stuck. They're feeling like they keep thinking about what hurt them. They keep thinking about what's uh, what's weighing on them. And they don't know how to set it down. They don't know how to let it go. Because I see someone here who with the slow movement, it makes them feel unloved. And that's sad because they're, that's not what it is. This is someone who takes the relationship seriously but they just move differently. But that's why it's so important for us to look at the present because we see the love language here. And that someone is like, when things move slowly, I feel like they're not taking me seriously and I feel like they don't really love me. That is how someone here feels. All right, so I want to take a look at this Ace of Swords because this is about like the truth coming out. This is about being open and honest with communication. So let's see more about this Ace of Swords. Someone might have even, conf I wonder if someone did something because there's like a hastiness here. Someone might have let their feelings get the best of them. 
and done something to drive to drive the two of you apart. Because what I see now is, um, I mean, I see how emotionally removed someone is. And then I see the way that they're beating themselves up about, they're beating themselves up about it. Thinking, um, overthinking. And it's almost like someone looking and saying like, how could you, why did you do this? How could you do that? you know, em emotionally. And this person's carrying a lot of guilt for, because it's like an ownership, owning up. Someone knows that they did something to drive their person away. And now there's just like a lot of, of guilt associated with it and not really knowing what to do. But from deep within, like this energy is burning within them, this desire to talk and to say like, can we just give this another chance, please? Like it's it's wishing and hoping and it's like even praying because I see this moment where things like got really out of hand and even felt like, why did you do, like how could you let this come between us? Because after that, I know it felt like things were never gonna be the same. But what someone truly wants here is like they're wishing and hoping uh, for magic. They're hoping for something magical to happen that it can, it, they can get another chance and it can be rebuilt. I mean, this is a hope. This is a hope. So that's important for you to know, Taurus, especially if you decided to rebuild things with someone, to open up and talk to them and give them another chance. It's important for you to know how grateful they are and if you haven't yet how grateful they would be if you did give them that chance because they're like hoping for magic here praying wishing so stuck can't can't walk away truly so this is how someone feels okay so i i know that this is the right thing to do to take it slowly, especially, you know, after a moment like that, where things come crashing down and it feels like it's changed forever, it's okay to try to rebuild it slowly. All right, Taurus, I wanna take another, I just wanna see more into this Scorpio energy that's here. Because some of you um, have already agreed to, to see where things can go again you already have and it is like a wish come true but that's it's so important though for you to know just how much this person is thinking of you especially if you haven't given them this chance um or spoken to them they are dying to talk to you thinking of you all the time taurus 24 7 hoping that you're going to come out of this uh, space where they put you, where you want to be alone, where you don't want to be bothered, where you need to think, where you need to reflect. They're hoping, hoping, hoping that you're going to come out of that Virgo energy that's here. And some of you already have. And then if you haven't, just know that they're wishing, wishing for this with you. Okay, Taurus? So that is what's going on. And let's ask Spirit to show us. What is coming in for March? So Cancer's energy is here. So you guys could be dealing with a Cancer or you could have Cancer in your chart. I see this energy of something falling apart. Something where someone is 
is not telling the truth. They're not being honest with this person. And it is like a relationship breaking up because someone feels like this person that they're dealing with is a liar. They feel like they can't trust them. They feel this way. And it's, it's like something that gets revealed because I know that you guys, if you decided to give this person another chance, I see a lot of happiness that's there. I see a lot of stability. And then it's like this energy comes in fast where someone feels like it crumbles again and they, they feel like they catch this person in a lie. I, I see where someone is going to choose to humble themselves and even maybe maybe even go against their better judgment and say you know what I'm gonna look past all of this I'm gonna look past it and I'm gonna give this connection another chance I'm not gonna let my you know pride get the best of me because I could be spiting myself because I know that this is someone who wants to give it another chance so it's like they do they open up and they let this person into their life and it seems like it's something that's very happy, it's very stable. And, and you guys are looking at each other and feeling like you made the right choice. But then there's also something that's happening here. There's something that's happening where someone is not telling the truth. And if they're trying to hide something from their person, it's, it's go because they don't realize that they are on thin ice. Although someone is not, you know, giving their person the cold shoulder, because this is a lot of happiness here. So it's like someone is choosing to forgive. They don't forget though, but they forgive and they allow the happiness to come in and they allow, they allow uh, the connection to see where it can go. But what I can tell you is that if someone is still keeping a secret about something, this is a bad, bad idea. Because what's going on around you now is that someone is saying, well, I thought we were being honest with each other. That Ace of Swords is no joke. It's about laying it out on the table and you either accept it or you don't. So if someone failed to keep this one little detail, if they, if they failed to... <laughs> You don't want to do that. If if your person thinks that by you, if they think you guys really talk things out and the truth was told and that there's no more secrets and, and they say, okay, let's give this another chance. Let's come back together. And if they see something where they, where they think they're being lied to, it's gonna it's gonna tear the relationship apart again because it's all it's already kind of shaky because with that tower moment it's like a huge breach in the trust so being able to recover from that is a process and if you have things that keep getting in the way like you keep trying to build it up but then like bricks keep falling as you're trying to build it you're not going to get to the place where it's solid. So what I see here is like a warning, especially to the person who is keeping something from the other one. You don't want to do that. You have to be open and honest because if you are, you can continue this, this harmony because you're set up for the month ahead with the possibility of having something very very happy this is this is a stable home where there's love and there's laughter and there's good times and it's feeling like you know what we're okay right now our money looks good like our house looks good we can we're enjoying each other's company and it feels right but i can tell you though if someone is still keeping this secret you're gonna cause you're gonna cause it to crumble you are because you're already being given a second chance and i wonder like how severe is this it might not even be worth holding on to because it could be the smallest thing but the relationship is fragile right now 
It could be the smallest, stupidest thing that's not even worth lying about, but someone is like choosing to keep this secret and lie. It's not worth it. It's really not because your person is in a space where, you know, they've done a lot of thinking, they've done a lot of reflecting, and they have convinced themselves that it's the right choice to give the relationship a second chance. And they think that you're being completely open and honest with them. So this is important for you guys to know, Taurus, especially if you're if you're the one who feels like, you know, you're the one who sees that your person is keeping a secret. Because someone is. Someone is not telling the whole story. They're not telling everything. There's still some kind of deception. And it might not even be a big deal, but it's going to look like it is. It's going to be much bigger. It's not even worth it. So the best thing here is like when you guys have that conversation, because the energy is around you now to be very open and honest with each other, maybe in a way that you haven't before. So you have to just seize the moment because someone is, is strong enough to handle it. They're strong enough to handle everything and they want to know everything. So if they feel like you were honest, whoever this is, they feel like you were honest. They feel like you were truthful. And then they find something out. It's just going to make everything like this is like a, a, a bubble that bursts. Because I mean, this is upright. Look at this is happy. This is like a happy marriage, a happy household, a very happy relationship, happy lives. Whether you're, um, you know, separate, living your life separately, like you, you don't live together and everything. But this is about being very happy. And it's. It can be that way, but not if someone is not being truthful because it's going to it's gonna backfire. So I want to look into this Seven of Swords just to get some more detail about this energy. And do you see with this Ace of Swords coming in reverse? Because it's like someone's not saying everything that they should. I know they're they're kind of worried like I know they're worried but the time to hold back is not now cuz when you have this opportunity it's like the both of you are strong enough to handle it. And it's going to make someone feel that well you couldn't tell me everything so you don't really trust me. You don't you don't really think that I'm worthy. It's going to go to this person's like head and make them reflect on themselves and make them feel like they did something wrong. So, I mean, you can avoid all of that for whoever this message is. You don't have to because it's something that happens very quickly. It's like it goes from like heaven and then all of a sudden to a bad place. And it's it's because they like catch them. They catch them in a lie. So the, the best way forward here is when you guys, even if you haven't already, because the energy is there when I look at the present, the energy is there to be able to come to, to come back together, to get a second chance where a lot of people don't get that chance after a moment like that it feels like everything got destroyed so if you are given that chance and you guys think you're going to have a conversation be very open and honest you have to put it all out there because if you hold on to one little thing it's going to cause the connection to fall apart and you are already being given the both of you are already like divinely being given a, a second chance to mend it to see you know, where things could go. And I know how grateful someone is for that second chance. So you don't want to mess it up. You don't want to mess it up. Oh my gosh, look, I'm shuffling and look at this energy that flies out. This is about hurting someone very deeply with a lie and losing their partner. They are going to lose their partner if they're, if they hold on to, and I feel like it's something so petty. It's something so stupid, but with the history, it looks a lot bigger and it feels a lot bigger to this person than it actually is. And it, it will hurt them very deeply if you, if you don't tell them everything. 
So that is what I can see for you guys. And it's, it's like a warning because the truth this month is, is more important than it, than it has been throughout your whole relationship. Okay, Taurus. So just know that I love you guys. So whoever this is that knows that they're not being truthful, it's something small though. It's something insignificant, but it's going to turn into a much bigger situation than you think. Because you, you may think like, oh, that doesn't really, that doesn't, no, it does. It does to this person. It does to your person. And it's something that it will hurt them very deeply. It will hurt them very deeply. Even if you consider it to be something insignificant, it won't come across that way to your person. So you can avoid all of that energy. And you know what? Since, since we're looking at everything and for, for whoever this is for, because I know that there's like people cross watching this. That's why I read the way that I do. When you go to talk to them, Keep pulling, keep pulling, keep trying to pull information out of them. Because I know this is something that you guys want to give another chance. I know you want to be with this person. So keep kind of digging and pulling for information so you can get it all on the table. And you know what? Let them know, like right then and there, how it's going to make you feel if you find out later that something, that they're lying about something. Let them know right then and there, if, if I find out you're lying to me, then I'm going to walk away from you. I'm going to walk away from you and you're going to lose me. So, you know, put it out there. Really put it out there because that it will set things on the right track, as, especially if for some reason they felt like they shouldn't tell you something, whatever it is, just when you go to have that open conversation make it like a couple conversations. Don't like have like a one conversation and then done and then you make your decision. It'll be important for you guys to like kind of take your time because the way that someone is holding back is going to backfire on them in a major way if they're, and they don't have to because the opportunity is there and they are open. They can handle, really can handle everything. All right, Tor. So just know how much I love you guys. Thank you for everything. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys very soon. Have a great month. Don't let this energy get the best of you because you have a lot of happiness that's here. But it is like a warning to whoever is holding back. Don't do it. It's not worth it because you're going to, you're going to mess up something that's very beautiful that you have, even if it's something stupid and so small the way that I can see. So you can avoid that energy and and enjoy it because I know you feel very blessed to be back together with your person. All right, you guys. So that is what I have for you. And I love you so much. And I will talk to you soon.